Welcome back to this part four of the three-part trilogy about the Pleiades. My name is Hugh Evans and I am author of Origin of the Zodiac. If you haven't already seen the third part of the trilogy then I invite you to do so so that this news update will make a lot more sense and be more enjoyable. So just to recap on the Pleiades, these are the Pleiades. We have the parents of the seven sisters, Pleion and Atlas. Atlas was the first king of Atlantis and these are the seven sisters. And today we are looking at Alcyon. And just to remind you um, what we concluded in the third video was that the stars of the Pleiades are actually going around Alcyon and that our ancient astronomer ancestors had noticed this and named the Pleiades as a result and that our Sun is in a helical relationship with Sirius orbiting around Arcturus and the combined group is going around the Pleiades and this is reflected in the names and myths of the Pleiades. And I'd like to thank again Gareth Samuel of See the Pattern channel on YouTube for his work on the motion around Arcturus and the Pleiades and if you want to know more about the stars and the physics of that then please watch his video. I didn't mention last time that Gareth is also a presenter for the Thunderbolts project which crosses over with the ancient mythology and I think a lot of you will find that interesting and it will become relevant in later videos that I will be posting. So Gareth asked me, Alcyon, is it Greek? I replied, yes, hang on, I'll check. So when I look at the word Alcyon, I can hear al ki -on. The own suffix is Greek and it means a female person from the two components before it. So let's look at those two components. Al as a prefix can mean out of extra but as a word al with the hat makes a slightly longer a sound means litter or offspring so this is what the Pleiades are they are seven sisters they are a litter and we have just seen Atlas and Pleio and are their parents and the second part of the word key can be spelt in ancient British which we are using Welsh as the living remnant C-I or C-Y. They have the same sound as the second syllable. We have ki would normally be um, a dog that's in common use today but it also means a hold fast and I have put in a clip here from the dictionary just to show that. Um, you can imagine a dog holding fast on something, dogged. And Key or k as a first syllable, could, kid, are components of words that mean mutual effect, union, joint, or articulation. So if we put that together, Alcyon is the star about which the Pleiades revolve. The Pleiades being the litter, Alcyon is the holdfast, the centre, and it has a union and articulation about which the others are revolving. So I would say that Alcyon is not Greek, it is very much older. So I hope you've enjoyed this update. Please ring the bell because the next video coming up is on something very special indeed.